Dolly's not wanting the bucket, so I thought I'd do something else. While I was waiting for her to come back in the garden, she's, I'm doing the bucket, I'm doing it with the cloth because of the fleas and her skin. So I just, it was looking a bit dry and scratchy today, so I thought I'd just give her a wash. Um, I've not done it for a few days. I don't know how long, maybe five days, but she's had some bicarbonate you know, in the middle. And I thought I'd just do it. I planned yesterday to do it. Today I was doing it. So I've started and she just run off as soon as she sees the bucket. But she's had one go with it. And she was hiding behind the curtain. But now I've shut the door and decided to do this as well. At the same time, because she was looking at the porridge while I was waiting for her to come back through. She has actually come back through now. I was going to show you a skin as well. Because I know there's other people with dog skin problems. And last time I showed you a skin was okay. But it's a bit like mm, at the moment. There was about four fleas came off, so she's not got masses of fleas. Um, she's not crawling with fleas, as it were. Let's go over there and show you her skin since we're doing that. Um, so, I don't know if you can see it good or not, but she's a bit... It's not, it's not good. And she's sort of red and blotchy underneath this part of her back um, and down her back legs as well it looks like a flea actually but this has come up again this last few days and like the x ray patches are up on her legs again what I call the x ray patches but um, she's been mostly with most on potatoes like Juliette Bracky said for what she used it for potato fast or different things anyway so we do it occasionally um but not entirely i'm wondering if that's a bit like a detox thing and then things break through don't they at the same time i'm not really sure um I put some more tomatoes in just now. I'm just going to let her pander around for a bit and I'll come back for another attack. So the borage, my first lot of borage has come to flower. There's loads of flowers on it. Look. I did have some borage porridge the other day. And I've just put some borage flowers in my fizzy water. Ta-da! And I was thinking, because the angels were telling me, I need to put some start picking the flowers and putting them in a bag in the freezer, collecting them, um, or something. I put the cover over those ones yesterday because we were expecting a thunderstorm and I didn't want them to get smashed through. There was a bit of rain but no thunder, which was a disappointment for me. Um, so there's that. I'll just show you. The dog's not going to know we're coming back to her in a minute. Look, I noticed as well, my first strawberries are starting to ripen which is pretty cool. I've just moved them across into the sun a bit. They were over there, but they were quite happy over there. Um, so the ones in the bag are doing best of all. These ones aren't doing much. There's little strawberries on it, but that'll be good for what? What's it called when they come along and I've got head dog hair? What do I do with the fleas when I've combed them off? I throw them in the pond for the fish. Um, what's it called? When you do things in a, a rolling crop, I suppose. I've just put these tomatoes in here. The, these, I know they're smaller behind than the others. But that was the last couple of pots. They were the first lot I put in, remember? But it's out of the same packet of seeds. So, they were already in. I stuck one in there as well. I'm just sticking them in everywhere. With um, I put blood fish and bone in, but they might want other feed as well. The sage is doing alright. Remember, I planted that the other week and was thinking it was going to die. I might have sage and potatoes or something. Um, so there's some more tomatoes there. The tumbling toms that I got this year. I put three more in there. I'm thinking about maybe covering that with some sort of polythene to keep the moisture in a bit and like a greenhouse. 
and then I'll chuck two in there with the with the oak tree just to get rid of a, a couple more. Um, they'll do it or they won't, will they? And I was thinking if I put those in, it will be kind of a what's it called? I'm going to say barometer. That's not the right thing, but so I know when it needs watering. If you see what I mean. Um, these were the other tomato in there with some peas that I've just been taking the shoots off and eating the pea shoots and there's a couple more there with some more peas I put in later on there, I have a strawberry plant there that's got some on I was looking at this one early on, it was making me laugh because it had two little eyes on it look, it was peeping in her mouth probably won't be the queen of strawberries with those few but do you know what it's still fun isn't it um how will I stop the snails eating strawberries? Well I probably won't, I'll just scream. That's one of the reasons I moved it over there because I uh, there's a snail on it I can see now. Um The barley's supposed to put them off a bit, isn't it? Isn't that why they put it around it in strawberry fields? Um I don't really know there. Um, that's enough. Do the dog. Do you want to let us no. just go to her? Chase around with the flannel. What's in the water? Oh, look, she's just gone again. <laughs> she's. <look. laughs> silver screen. Talk about silver screen. Come here, Dolly. Come and have a. I couldn't get a good picture of her before because she, she was doing that. She was doing a really cute face, but my camera was on timer and I kept missing the, the good <laughs> perfection. Look at her eyes going. She's so, so trying to sell me she's not happy. I know. You're not happy. You hate the bucket. The water's tepid. It's not cold. She just hates the bucket. You hate the bucket, don't you, Dolly? So I'm using... A little bit of carbolic soap, which I just wash my hands in. That Red Boy one that I just happened to get on a whim before. Um, a tiny bit of Epsom salts. And guess what? Some neem. Oh, the other thing I was doing in between, because I've got spray neem as well, was like I sprayed her with it last night, I think, because it had started to go, the, her fur had started to go dry at the back. Um, and crispy looking. Do you know? Ladies know, don't they? Maybe it's the weather. She'd just gone frizzy. So I just gave her a squirt with that. Um, last night. Come on, come through. Have a wipe over. But last time this this helped with her, I, what I'm calling the ex Marie skin, it just cleared up sort of overnight almost. Um, and what I was saying to my son, I've said this, I keep repeating this, is because he has really bad eczema, but the neem is like a moisturiser as well. Um, but it's a balancing thing, like with eczema, of the the wet eczema and the dry eczema, so you have to dry out partly, but moisturise partly as well. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, and it seems to be an ongoing thing, but it's it's helping. She's trying to make me disappear. You're trying to make me disappear, Dolly. You're not supposed to call them, are you, when you want them to do something horrible? You have to go and get them. Dolly, I'll have to come and get you. Why? Because then they make negative associations with their names, don't they? Um, I'm past that. We're we're not that. We're not that. We're not that. We're not that. Um, what aren't we? We're not that um, dynamic, to be honest. I just like to say, Dolly, I'm going to hit you with a stick. Do you want me to get a shoe? Do you want me to hit you with a shoe? No, she's trying to do that. A pe is that appeasing? Is that an appeasing gesture, Dolly? Or is it just... She's looking at the... Is that a swift or a swallow? We've got, we've got the V-tails. They're swallows, aren't they? And the straight tails as well, we've been watching go over. And there was also another... I don't know what... 
sort of raptor it was went over earlier on. I couldn't see it close enough. It had that tail, so my son would have remembered. Kestrel? Hawk? What is it? Tell me. Go and get your book. You, you what? You damn what? Guess who was here this morning as well, I've just remembered. Sully, my seagull with a hook beak, so that's pretty cool. Because um, I always wonder if he's, I don't know, died or something. I've not seen him for ages. He came in, looked at the water bowl and then disappeared by the time I'd got it out for him. I had to get that other bowl because he likes to drink out of a deeper bowl. Um, but he just came, he just came through. I think they were looking for food actually because a magpie and a jackdaw came at the same time and none of them drank the water. Um, they just looked at the bowls. So I put some melon up there for them. They had a bit of watermelon as well. Because you know what? They like it, don't they? Corvids. Corvids like fruit. <laughs> you like fruit, don't you? You love melon. You love melon. You can have a piece if you come and let me do your... Come here and let me do your tail. Go to her. She'll run back out of the gate again. Get the bucket behind her, that'll stop her running through. Come this way, Dolly. Come on, come through. I'm going to tip it on the garden. Go on, you go that way. I lied, look. I lied to her. Chase her down there. She's sitting down now. She's sitting down by the door. I can't get her. She'll jump over the bucket. She won't be tricked. Oh, she's coming. Look, she's doing that beaten thing. Mrs. Beaton, aren't you? You're playing Mrs. Beaton? She's playing Mrs. Beaton. I'm just rubbing all the flannel. I'm not being, I'm not being too horrible. The, the bucket thing didn't work. She just ran past. <laughs> Come back, Dolly. Oh, now she likes someone up and down the alley. Getting, getting some steps in. Dolly, can we get some steps in? Do I do random? I did random mouth the other day, around her ears and her feet. Oh god, this is annoying me. Just put a string around her neck and drag her. I know with this pride thing. I feel like doing it. Come on, your ID. Hidey, hidey. My pride here, not yours. Come on. Come on. She hates it. Look. <laughs> She's going to have negative associations with rainbows now. Come here, Dolly. Come here. She has to do it though, doesn't she? Why do we in her ears? Why am I? And teeth mites, Dolly. I haven't started putting her teeth yet with me. But she licks it off, so that kind of works, doesn't it? There's the comb, just so I can prove. I don't know where the comb is actually. What have I done with it? I don't even know. Um I don't know. Show you again her mark. Her scab holes. There we go. 
She's free again. Now I can throw this on the garden, I suppose. And my potatoes, I forgot to tell you, because I planted potatoes the other day, do you remember? That bag of old potatoes, and they're sort of coming up. So, I took the tops off the other day, I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I just felt like doing it. Um, so the neem might put off any green fly, I suppose, off my tomatoes. Um, just leave it. I'll just leave it. I'll come back to it in a minute. Oh. I was hoping to get some more sunbathing in, but now the sun seems to have gone. I really done much today. I did some steps there. Like, you remember when... <laughs> you remember when we used to go to step aerobics? I've been doing it on this step. I did a bit. When I was at my son's the other day, they've got some steps down to their garden. And if you stand at the side, one of them's quite high. So that's pretty good for doing like um, your butt, basically. Your, what's it called? Your, your glutes. It's about, I suppose it's a good nine inches. Well, there's three different steps, but um, I can't just go there all the time, can I? How many did I do? Um, I was doing 25s. I had two lots of both sides or something. I was trying to do it, but I can't remember. <laughs> it was easier to count if I just did it in blocks of 25. So that's what I did. hiding down there now but she's got a puppy face on in the cool spot in the cool alley isn't it dolly it's in the cool alley we call it cool alley that's where the cool the cool people go to cool off um i think there's something else i'm going to show you afterwards but i won't be able to so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'll just show you I'll tell you why. My kiwi's not growing at all. Look. Are they supposed to be slow growing? I got foxgloves out, the other ones, to have an air because they were a bit damp. Um, these sweet peas that came up before, I don't know where to put them. And I don't know what this is. Um, there's loads of them in all the pots, so I'm wondering if it came in the compost. Um, That'll be something to wait and find out. And that's it really. Oh, I'll tell you what else as well. <laughs> Please do. The parsley. This parsley's gone to seed here, which is pretty cool. I thought I'd just let it do it. Because then it will drop seeds, won't it? And some of them might grow. Um, is that because it's too dry? I don't really care. Um, is this a little cargo plane? Passenger one? Probably. Get a book. I can't be really bothered to be honest. Um, This has come up. <laughs> it's an enemy, a really small one. It decided to be a low down, hidey one. Um, I don't know what this is, but I wondered if it came out of that. I 
put ginger in there, but I don't think it is a ginger. So I don't know what it is, to be honest. But I've just let it grow. Hops is on a slow, a slow reverse. It's hopping backwards. Do you know? Oh God! I'm not sure that's gonna. We'll wait and see. And that's that's enough now, isn't it? Loads of bumblebees around. They like the open open blooms, don't they? Um. There's a different bee on the roses. It's still need deadheading. A lot of them. Leave some. I, uh, I can't. Right, I'm going to go then. I'm going to go and just have five minutes lying in this last bit of sun, probably. Now that plane's gone. Um. Let the dog in. She wants to go in. Oh, that's why I look. Guess who's home?